Welcome to another tech tutorial. In today's video, we'll be going in depth on the IB Manager section of Matchback that centers around the three IB core subjects, which are CAST, TOK, and Extended Essay. In the CAST section of your IB Manager in Matchback, you can easily organize your reflections and evidence for all of your CAST projects and experiences. Your CAST experiences are all shown with the number of outcomes achieved, a timeline, documents, and notes. To add a CAST experience, select this blue button on the top right and enter the name of your experience here. If it's a CAST project, you can simply tick this box. Next, click the respective boxes to assign the activity type from creativity, activity, and service. If it's a service, you can choose whether it's direct, indirect, advocacy, or research. You also need to select how you're going to approach the activity. Is it a school, community, or individually, and if it's still ongoing or not. For dates, you can add the start date, but if you're not too sure when the activity ends, don't worry as you can always edit it later on. You also have to fill in your CAST supervisor's information such as their names, title, email, and phone number in the boxes provided. Lastly, input the description of your CAST experience and select your targeted learning outcomes from these checkboxes. Make sure to check this checkbox so that ManageBack automatically notifies your advisor through email and you can get your CAST experience to be approved. Selecting one of your CAST experiences lets you see a summary of it, and this blue button at the top right lets you edit it. You can add a CAST reflection and evidence by clicking this button, then select the type of reflection you're inputting, fill the required information accordingly, and tick the targeted outcomes achieved. This drop-down allows you to switch between your experiences easily, and there are also reference guides for you to read. There are different statuses to your CAST experience. There's rejected, to be determined, which means it's not approved yet, but you can still add reflections, approved, and completed, which only appears once your supervisor gives a review and it cannot be edited anymore. Once you've completed your experience and added all your evidence, you can request an online supervisor review or download the CAS completion form and ask your supervisor to fill it. Going to the reflection and evidence section of a CAS experience lets you add, edit, star, or delete your reflections. You can also filter them through their type or outcome from this site. If you want to learn more about CAS other than these reference guides, you can also check out the Quick Starter Guide, which contains videos, guides, and your own CAS experiences. This button lets you view all your CAS reflections and evidence that you've added on Matchback, sort them based on their type and target outcomes, and even export all of them or your start reflections as a PDF. You can also view your CAS progress, CAS advisor and their information, and a legend for the different symbols here. most important IB requirements is the extended essay, and just like CAS, ManagePack makes it simpler for us to manage our EE proposal and reflections. Selecting this button allows you to edit your EE proposal where you can input your subject, topic, research question, notes, and your EE supervisor. You can also see the summary here and add a to-do list to keep track of your progress and deadlines by selecting Add Item. Complete an item off your to-do by ticking them and you can even edit or delete it too. You can also upload documents from your desktop or Google Drive and add notes and reflections which can be edited and deleted later on. On the top right, you can check out a quick start guide, your EE and overall status, your supervisor contact information, links for citations, and reference guides. Next, we have the Researcher's Reflection Space section, and it's essentially a journal where you can record your EE planning, research, and progress by adding multiple forms of media as shown. You can then edit, star, delete, and filter them based on their types too. Other than sending your actual extended essay, the IB also requires you to add three reflections on your planning and progress, where the maximum word count for the three reflections is 500 words. Add them to manage back by typing them in the boxes provided and make sure to set the date and DP year as well. Once you've posted your reflection, it will be automatically locked after five minutes. However, you can always request your supervisor to unlock them for you to edit it later. section of your ManageBack centers around your registration as a candidate for the IB exams. You can find your candidate information and edit them by filling in these boxes. You can also view the subjects and their levels that you are taking throughout the IBDP. Selecting Edit brings you here where you can navigate through the subject groups, EE, and TOK to pick which subject and level you are taking them in for your IB exams. The subjects that appear are provided by your school and may vary between different schools. If you're taking more than six subjects, you can add them by clicking Add Subject and selecting the subject group they belong to from this drop-down. 
Resetting your plan removes all the subject input you chose, but you can always add them in the future and save your changes. If you're sitting for the IB exams in your first diploma year, after selecting the subject and levels that you'll be taking, don't forget to click this Anticipated Candidate checkbox in the JC1 tab. Furthermore, Matchbook also allows you to check out the exam calendar filled with the IB exam schedules once they're announced, export your candidate information and IB exam subjects as a PDF, and read more information on how this section works by clicking Plan Worksheet Tutorial. Next on the list of the many IB requirements is the TOK essay. In the workspace section, you can edit your prescribed title anytime before you complete your TOK essay and choose from the given list. In the respective boxes, write the approximate number of words of your essay and select your TOK teacher using the drop down menu. If you haven't noticed, there are some features here that are also found in the EE section, such as the to do's, documents, notes, quick start guide, your TOK status, overall progress, links, and reference guide. The journal section lets you add entries to help plan your TOK essay by selecting on this button at the top right and typing in your entry here. Then, choose the area of knowledge and key concepts that your entry is centered on from the respective drop down menus. You can add multiple concepts and delete them by clicking the cross beside it. There's also a planning and progress section for the TOK essay, which is the same as the one for the extended essay. It consists of three interactions, each with a maximum length of 100 words and a display date. Once posted, the reflection will be automatically locked after 5 minutes. Since our tutorial team have completed our TOK exhibition, this is how the section looks like, and as you can see, we can't modify it any further. It essentially has the same features as the TOK essay section, with prompts, to-dos, documents, notes, the quick start guide, your TOK status, overall progress, supervisor information, links, and reference guide. The general section of your TOK exhibition is also the same, but instead of areas of knowledge and key concepts, you choose themes and exhibition prompts. Did you know that you can send messages on Matchback to your teachers or classmates? Well, the messages section contains all the general messages posted by your grade teachers or other students specifically relating to your three IB core subjects. You can add one yourself by selecting this blue button, adding the topic, your message, and the category at which the message will be uploaded on, which is either an announcement, deadline, cast, TOK, or EE. Checking this tick box will send a notification through email to your year group members when the message is posted. Public messages are visible to all students and teachers in your year group. However, checking this private messages tick box makes it only visible to you and your teachers. Do note that public messages cannot be converted to private once posted and vice versa. You can also filter messages by privacy or by their category. Other sections found in the IB Manager are the Calendar and Files section for the three IB core subjects, but we'll go more in depth on them in our next Manage Back episode. Lastly, the Members section shows all the students, including you, that are in your year group. It includes the total number of students, their names, the date at which they joined the Manage Back, and whether they're online or not, which are indicated by the green indicator beside their profile picture. Next week for another episode where we'll discuss more cool features on Matchback. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and of course, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever you upload. See you next time!